Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Selenium Tech Automation. In this today tutorial, I am going to discuss about what is a main method in Java and also why we need to use this main method inside our classes. Okay, so before going to start this video, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and also please watch this video till the end and also don't forget to like this video and please share this video to your friends or colleagues so that they will also understand what uh, what is main method in Java. Okay, and also your share will helps this video to recommend for more people from YouTube point of view. Okay, first uh, let's get started with our today tutorial that is what is main method in java and also why we need to use main method in java okay so the purpose of main method is to define starting and ending point for the application execution okay what is the main purpose of this main method means the purpose of main method is to define starting and ending point for the application execution okay here you can see i have already declared one main method that is public static void main which is accepting two arguments that is string and args okay there are two parameters which is accepting okay so inside this we are going to write uh, lines of code here which will tell you the starting and ending point for the application execution if we are using this main method means okay if we are using main method means it will define the starting and ending point for the application execution okay here this java virtual machine that is jvm will always check for main method for execution purpose okay here java virtual machine okay java virtual machine will always check for the main method for execution purpose only okay to access the main method okay to access this main method by java virtual machine okay by java virtual machine that main method scope must be available to the java virtual machine okay that main method scope must be available to the java virtual machine that's the reason we declared main method as a public access modifier okay to access this main method okay to access this main method by java virtual machine okay by java virtual machine this main method scope must be available to jvm so that's the reason why we are mentioning this main method with the access modifier called public access modifier okay which means public access modifier can access from anywhere okay public access modifier can access from anywhere so that's why we are mentioning this main method with the modifier called as public okay with the public access modifier this jvm uh, virtual machine will always uh, will get some location with the help of this public access modifier this java virtual machine will must be available the scope okay java virtual machine will get the scope if we mention this public static void main method as the public access modifier okay because public access modifier we can access from anywhere okay that's the reason why we are mentioning this main method with the access modifier called public okay here what is the void here Okay, what is a void main method does not return anything to the jvm okay here main method does not return anything to the java virtual machine that's a return type here void means it is a return type at the same time main method is not returning anything to the java virtual machine okay that's why we are keeping here void always for main methods and also when it comes to main what is a main here the name itself it is showing it is a main method okay the name itself it is showing it is a main method it will shows the importance of main method okay first what is a main here the name itself it is showing it is a main method and it is it will show the importance of the main method inside this public static void main method okay so here we will come to these two okay we will come to these that is string and args okay why we need to provide parameters and args in the main method why we need to provide these two to our main method okay so to provide these two parameters we can have two ways okay to provide these two parameters we can have two ways the first way is static input and the second way here is dynamic input okay here static input means we are going to provide the data at the time of designing okay we are going to provide the data at the time of de designing for example okay for example you can see here int i equals to okay int i equals to 10 for example okay int i equals to 10 okay if i mention like this means if i mention like this we are going to provide some input to that parameters in a static way okay there are two ways to provide the inputs the first one is static way and the second one is dynamic way okay during that uh, 
at the time of designing if you are providing some input means that is called a static input okay we can consider this as static input because we provided this input during the time of designing only okay so when it comes to dynamic input means at the time of runtime we can provide some information okay at the during the time of runtime so we can provide some information for example for example okay for example for dynamic inputs okay for dynamic inputs okay, for dynamic inputs so sometimes you will see enter the first value okay enter the first value so after you enter the first value then you are getting some output from the program right so that's why this is a dynamic input means at the time of runtime we are going to provide the input so that we can call it as dynamic input okay these two we are going to provide as a parameters for this main method okay if we can come to what is a string here okay in the class we can declare integer okay integer data type as well as character data type short data type floating data type sorry float data type any data <coughs> any type of data type we can mention but only string can accept any kind of data type okay in the class we can declare either it will be integer character short float any kind of data type okay we can mention inside our class but instead of mentioning uh, like all those things we can mention with the help of string only because string can accept any kind of data type okay at the same time we can provide one or more values like int a equals to 10 at the same time int a equals to 10 int b equals to 20 likewise we can provide n number of values okay we can provide one or more values only array can store the more than when value that's the reason why we are using array type in main method syntax okay here you can see string of array type right so string can accept any kind of data type either it will be integer character float double long okay so that's the reason why we are going to use string inside our main method okay string can accept any kind of data type information that's the reason why we are mentioning string so at the same time you can see here there is some array type okay there is some array type so why we are using here means we can provide one or more values right for example these are the values we can provide one or more values with the help of array okay so that only array can store more than one value that's the reason why we are using array type in main method syntax okay so at the same time why we are providing main method as static okay why we are providing main method as static means for execution purpose java virtual machine wants some memory okay that memory is given by this static only okay so why we are providing static to the main method means for execution purpose java virtual machine wants some memory okay that memory is given by the static that's the reason why we mention here static keyboard okay that is the reason why we are mentioning the static because java virtual machine wants some memory okay during the execution so that memory which is going to provided by static only to that particular java virtual machine that's the reason why we are mentioning static in our main method okay so now <coughs> we discussed all about this thing like public why we are using static why we are using what is the use of void and what is the use of main method and what is the use of these two parameters okay so i hope uh, this video will uh, helpful for you during the time of your interviews okay please drop a like for this video and also don't forget to watch this video till then if you find it is very useful please share this video to your friends or colleagues so that they will also learn and also your share will help our video to recommend for more people okay that's all it for now we will connect with our next video until then take care everyone have a nice day signing off selenium tech automation bye guys